Back to back Big Ten home games for the Badgers coming off a win in the home floor on Tuesday night against the Purdue Boilermakers. The Badgers hosting the Rutgers Scarlet Knights a noontime tip on Sunday here in Madison. Then it's back on the road a trip to Ann Arbor for a Thursday night matchup with the Michigan Wolverines. We will recap the week that was for Wisconsin basketball. We'll also hear from Dimitri Trice, the redshirt junior point guard from Huber Heights, Ohio, really emerging here as this season moves along, doing a, more than a little bit of everything in helping the Badgers play pretty good basketball here of late. And we'll have our weekly chat with head coach Craig Gard. All coming up on today's edition of the Badger Sports Report. Tough pass with Gather by Davison. Five of the shot clock. Trice looks up at it. Ball screen Potter. Trice, long jumper away. Good. And it's a two for Dimitri Trice. They'll review it at the media timeout. Single coverage, coverage from Potter. Backing his Williams. Left shoulder turn. Goes up. Partially blocked by Potter. It comes down to Brevin Fritzel. Good low post feed from Micah Potter. Fritzel will feed the wall up the right wing. To the rim. Lay up. Good. Good hustle by Wall, good find by Brevin. 4-2 Wisconsin. Rivion Williams, left foul line extended, hands off to Stevanovich. Poked away by Fritzel, and Brevin on the breakout. Chased by Thompson, Brevin down the lane. Slam dunk. Brevin Fritzel, the steal and the flush. And it's 7-2 Wisconsin. Five and a half minutes gone by. Trevor Anderson to the front court on a feed to Brevin Fritzel. Bounces to Weavers between the circles. Weavers against Travion Williams. Hand off Trice. Jump pass forward. Good look at a three. Left side. Good. Aline Ford. Averaging 9.6.7 rebounds over his last four games. This pass to Anderson. Out high. Trevor glides a dribble to the right side. Throws to Aline. Good look at a three. Straight on. Straight in. Second three-point hit for Aline Ford. 13-4 Wisconsin. 12.08 left in the first half. I feel like it's a perfect time for us to be playing confident. And I feel like uh, we've done a good job, got that road win in Nebraska. And then we have a good team with Rutgers coming back in. So it'll be another test to see how we're striding and if we can keep that momentum going. Up the floor, he is shattered. Every dribble contested by Jihad Proctor. Now Trice between the circles. Dietrich throws to Pritzel, left side, got two boilers up, baseline left. Pritzel in the paint, gives it to Trevor, fakes the three, bounces inside, Ford slam dunk. Oh, what a sweet feed from Trevor Anderson. Reavers out front. He'll hand off to Brad Davison. Thought about it, turned it down. Now Ford's open. He won't turn it down. He'll splash it. Three-point hit for Aleem, and he is into double digits. 11 for four, three long balls. 25-24, Wisconsin, 122 left in the half. Full throws to Wheeler. Quick pass to Fonovich. Inside feed. Thompson, open shot, blocked by Reavers. And it comes down to Davison. Here comes Wisconsin. Tries to the front court, one minute left in the half. Ford, another three, right side, book it. Oh, he is on fire, and he knows it. Timeout, Purdue. Four-point Badger lead, 56.5, left of the first half. Right-hand hip-high dribble at the center circle. Down to 15 seconds, 12 to shoot. Price still rocking the dribble. With 12 seconds left in half, Dimitri at the right wing, turns the corner, floats to the rim, off the glass, and in. Dimitri tries with the bucket, five seconds left in the half. At the end of the day, you can only control what, what's in the room. You know, you can't, you can't control what happens outside, what people are, what is going on. You know, you got to stick together with your group. And, you know, that's what you tighten your ship, you tighten your bonds together, you know, and you face adversity, you go through it. And at the end of the day, that's what we have to do. We got to come together collectively, you know, keep that tight bond and just come out and perform. This is Wisconsin basketball. Left hand dribble. Trevor top of the circle, five to shoot. Anderson inside. Potter catches, slam dunk. Revan Pretzel, his fourth from downtown. Right side, 4 3. Gora Dimitri Trice again with a big shot. Davidson for three. Tied in. Blocked by Reavers out of bounds. The Badger Sports Report is presented by High V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. High V proudly supports the Wisconsin Badgers. And UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. Who has my charger? My High V grocery cart's about to die. Will you take our picture with my High V grocery cart? Absolutely. Hey, is that the latest Hy-Vee grocery cart? Yeah. Please put your Hy-Vee grocery carts in airplane mode for takeoff. Sir, you left your Hy-Vee grocery cart on the table. Oh, thank you. Download the all-new Hy-Vee shopping app. It's the fresh way to shop fresh. 
please be courteous and silence your high grocery carts. Hey, we're restarting. Yeah, yeah. I'm almost done with my grocery shopping. When being sick isn't as bad as not knowing why you're sick. When questions lead to confusion. And angst and anxiety. When it feels like there's a tiger chasing you into the darkness. And all you want is a little light. A little hope. This is when you need the best of the best. Doctors who don't just perform cutting edge procedures and treatments. Doctors who invent them. UW Health, remarkable medicine, remarkable care. Hi, this is Coach Greg Gard, inviting you to join the Badger Basketball Booster Club. As a member of the Booster Club, you will have the opportunity to participate in a variety of great events, including pregame chalk talks, golf outings, and an away game bus trip. The Boosters play a vital role in assisting our staff and student athletes through fundraising and sponsorship. For additional information on joining the club, please call 608-265-6161. There is no better way to show your support than to join the Badger Basketball Boosters. The Learfield IMG College Directors Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through the directorscup.com, USA Today, or L Directors Cup on Twitter. Learfield IMG College Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. Baseline left, Trisel inbound. Dietrich goes into Reavers, and he'll take the three left side. Good. Not there inside, but he was left open this time outside, and Reavers gets his first points tonight. So Trice lobs at the Potter top of the circle. Potter, one dribble, tosses Trice high on the left. Ascended Davis, an open three, straight on, money. Brad Davis in second three-pointer of the game, 36-29 Wisconsin. High screen Reavers, Demetri uses it, floats to the right side. Inside feed, caught by Ford, low on the left, slam dunk. Aline Ford with 16, and the lead is 11 for the Badgers. 15-25 remaining. He looks, finds Pritzel, he'll catch, he'll flip a three, right side, good. Revan Pritzel, his first three of the game. 48-36, Wisconsin with 12-17 remaining. Trice kills the dribble, needs help from Pritzel, gets it near half court. Stefanovic defending, bounce pass Potter, top of the arc. Mike up, outside left. Here's the forward left side, he's open, he'll take the three, good again! And a career high for Aleem Ford. He has 19 points tonight. Dietrich Trice, left side line of the front court, refusing a reverse screen to kick the forward, fakes the three left corner, whips it to Trice, good look at the three, left side, got it! Dimitric Trice with eight. And that is a huge hit for Trice. 54-45, Wisconsin with 7.08 remaining. Yeah, uh, especially when you, anytime you play a good team, they're gonna have runs. So we're just trying to weather that storm because obviously we're confident in ourselves and we know we're gonna have our own runs. So, and we're just playing with a lot of confidence right now. I mean, you know, at the end of the game, that last four minute stretch, you're always trying to play with your lead and kind of just maintain. And you know, it comes down to making those little extra effort hustle plays. I know Leem had one, I had two of those kind of just late clock plays. You know, that's, just, that's a game saver because you never know, you get a long miss, ball's flying, team gets down, gets a quick shot. So, you know, by stopping the momentum, kind of resetting our offense, you know, that's big for us because it gets us dwindled down the clock a little more, take some time off, and then eventually, you know, we're able to execute on defense and close the game out. And all of my teammates to go in there and knock down two free throws. But yeah, tonight I was trying to get it out quick and look for Brevin and Brad because they had the hot hand at the line. So I'm trying to stick with what was working. I don't know if it's because it's a double bonus that helps, but you definitely, you know, when you step up for free throws, you got to step up with confidence. You can't be doubting yourself. And, you know, Coach Gard puts enough confidence in us to, that we're going to knock it down, telling us to go get the ball. So really, at the end of the day, it's just, it's just called a free throw, you know, so you hope it's just an easier shot. We'll shoot two more free throws. First is in the air. It's good. 68-65, Wisconsin. Badgers living up to their billing as the best free throw shooting team in the Big Ten. 7.6 seconds to play. Second free throw, Pritzel. It's good. 69-65, Wisconsin. Seven seconds left. Hunter on the fly, left sideline, front court against Davison. Open three, left side, off the rim, no good. Rebound, Williams, it's over, and the Badgers survive. I mean, I definitely think we're moving the ball well. You know, offensively, we're being, I, you can't 
the numbers aren't always going to show the efficiency. I mean, it says we're 38%, but we also had 13 assists on those 19 field goals. And that means the ball's popping. Guys are all in the action. You know, we're moving the ball, not just a set offense. And I think that's really what's benefiting us is the last couple of games. You know, that ball's kind of popped around, find the open guy, hitting shots. But then defensively, you know, just staying true to our principles. You know, we gave up a couple offensive rebounds, but we were able to make the crucial ones when we needed to. So I think that's just sticking to our game plan, you know, defensively, but also offensively moving the ball. When their cry is a different kind of cry. When you know they're sick, but are afraid to know how sick they really are. That's when you want answers. When you need answers. Because when it's your child, your baby, it's different. This is where you'll find doctors unlike any other doctors, where we treat the untreatable and conquer the seemingly unconquerable. UW Health, remarkable medicine, remarkable care. Hi, this is Coach Greg Gard, inviting you to join the Badger Basketball Booster Club. As a member of the Booster Club, you will have the opportunity to participate in a variety of great events, including pregame chalk talks, golf outings, and an away game bus trip. The Boosters play a vital role in assisting our staff and student athletes through fundraising and sponsorship. For additional information on joining the club, please call 608-265-6161. There is no better way to show your support than to join the Badger Basketball Boosters. Trice hands off to Pritzel, high on the right. Stefanovic defends. Brevin above the three-point line, gets it to Trice, right wing. Moves it in to Nate Reavers, baseline right, backing on Williams, backing, still backing. Right block, fades, flips, and hits. Nate Reavers with a big bucket. Nine-point lead, Wisconsin, 57-48, five and a half minutes remaining. Trice retreats, shot clock at seven, game clock 2-10. Trice on the left side. Takes it off the wing, left elbow jumper, back rim no good, rebound. Pritzel digs it out of there, and he was fouled on the play. Brevin Pritzel, my goodness, couple of big offensive rebounds as he continues to play an all-around good game tonight. For the first time this season, the Badgers have Big Ten back-to-back -back home games coming off a win Tuesday night against Purdue, a Sunday afternoon matchup with Rutgers. Uh, I know it all evens out, but it has to be nice for your guys to know that you're not going to be on an airplane or in a hotel for a few days before the last couple weeks here of the regular season. That kind of a nice departure, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's obviously a break from the norm of what we've been through so far, but uh, it's nice to be able to put my suitcase <laughs> away for for at least a week, you know, it's, but uh, you know, it's good to get back home, obviously, and played pretty well Tuesday night against Purdue, and now we got to continue to move forward and coming down the home stretch so there's not many left and and I like the way we're trending and hopefully we can continue to build upon it. Well you as a team you, as you said like the way you're trending there's some individuals and really you could probably go up and down the roster here but Aline Ford's getting a lot of attention. I know in the preseason Aline's teammates said okay this when you ask that question who's the breakout guy this year he was the the one that most people pointed to the scoring is up shooting percentage you look at other things and he's been you know rebounding all around he's been yeah I think the, the rebounding thing has really been because that that's made here recently it stayed pretty consistent I mean, he didn't score much at Nebraska but he was able to rebound pretty well and that all comes from an aggressiveness and when, when he's aggressive that means he's really engaged from a mindset standpoint and everybody well he's not the first one he won't be the last one that if you play the game aggressively and confidently you can make a lot of good things happen and he's been able to do that. You know, he's, he seems like a, a fairly level guy, but when he was hitting those shots against Purdue, he's fired up. That's a cool thing to see when someone is is really in a rhythm and knows it. You, you heard some stuff out of him that maybe surprised yeah, you too. Yeah, he let one go right in front of me <laughs> and it wasn't two feet out of his hand and he said, good, you know, loud <laughs> enough that I could hear it five, six feet behind him. So I knew, uh, you know, he had already Ran, started to run down the court and the ball wasn't in through the net yet, but he was right. I mean, shooters understand. They know the feel when it leaves their hands and uh, for the most part can tell when it is going to go in and he obviously felt really good on that one. Yeah, a couple guys are getting close enough or they, they're deep enough into their career and because they've been productive along the way in terms of scoring, there's a milestone that's now within reach. Demetri Trice is getting closer and closer and as we speak, Brad Davison is on the brink of of 1,000 points, and that's something that uh, that probably those of us on the outside we don't appreciate enough because he would be the 43rd ever 
in a Wisconsin uniform to, to do that. The 30 points against Nebraska accelerates the, yeah. the path a little bit, but uh, that, that is something worth celebrating. I well, think. it is, and it's definitely from a Brad, from Brad's standpoint, from most of them, you have to sustain you know, a pretty good pace to be able to get to 1,000 points in four years. And, um, you know, really happy for him as he trends towards that. I know he'll tell you he's more happy that his team is playing well. Um, but yeah, I mean, the backcourt right now, uh, Dimitri and, and Brad are doing a lot of good things, and it's shown in, in terms of what our team's been able to do. Yeah, Dimitri, I know we've talked about him a couple of times, either on this platform or on your radio show, the all-around game, the defensive end especially. But it, his three-point shooting has gone up, the percentage. It was a slow start in the Big Ten, but... He's a confident guy. He knows he's a good shooter, and he was able to fight through all of that. Yeah, and I think you have to. You, you know, as a shooter, you know there's going to be slumps you're going to go through, and you have to stay confident and continue to bust through that. You're not going to, you know, last year I think we got spoiled right off the bat when he was leading the country in three-point shooting. So that was the peak. And then he obviously went through some ups and downs last year. But to stay mentally engaged and confident enough that know that you're going to, you know, you'll work your way out of it. Just make sure you're getting quality looks and continue to do your work off the court. and and do your work to, uh, you know, he gets a lot of shots in on his own. He stays after practice and he's in there early. So it's, uh, you know, he understands what he's doing. Get a quick quick recap of that Purdue game. Um, how often did you guys mention the numbers 42 and 16? Or did they kind of already? Yeah, I anyway? said it the first, I said it the first day as we were preparing, as we came back from Nebraska, I think we had, uh, well, we had to turn and flip probably right away because of Sunday, Monday. So I, I mentioned it on Sunday as we wrapped up and put a bow around the Nebraska game um, with the video of that. Uh, I mentioned that and I said it, you know, once maybe during my pregame. But they know, they understand. They understood what we needed to do better. And it wasn't the only thing we needed to do better, but that was a number that jumped off the page. And fortunately, we were able to, you know, we didn't. We didn't quite win that battle, but we made it much more even than what it was before. Well, what you guys were able to do late, and it says something about the will of this team, has hit the offensive glass down down the stretch. The free throws were very obvious. The offensive rebounding didn't yeah, hurt. Yeah, they extend possessions, obviously, when we were able to convert. And, uh, you know, I thought for the most part, watching it going back through on film, the last few possessions, we had some pretty good looks. There was a couple um, that I would have liked to have back. But for the most part, when you're in that situation, we got – you know, you get some pretty good looks. You got to get the ball to go down, but then to be able to secure extra possessions or extend a possession with a rebound and get fouled in some of those and go to the line. Oh, that guys were phenomenal down the stretch of handling pressure, but also going there and you, you got to make them, you know, with the lights are on and the scoreboard's running and, and the pressure's on. And our guys were really able to, to finalize and close the door with that. Yeah, the last 12 uh, free throws went down. Can you tell pretty early in someone's career who's the one who wants to be fouled in that situation? Yeah, for the most part, you can tell, and, and it's more about the physicality to go get the ball. And, and we had guys that were willing to go get the ball. And I thought the other thing that doesn't get talked about it much, Aleem Ford did a really good job of staying calm when the pressure's on. He's got to get it to a guy without turning it over. Um, and he was able to convert time and time again to get it in and allow us to get fouled. Yeah, especially against a team like, like Purdue that's very, that can be very aggressive, and any team would be, but the Boilermakers are a tough defensive team on any given uh, day or, or year. And, you know, a lot of cool under pressure there to get the ball inbounds and for guys like Pritzel and Davison to knock down those free throws at crunch time. Badgers hosting Rutgers on Sunday afternoon, hitting the road Thursday night at Michigan. Coach is back in a few minutes with our question of the week. Stay with us. When being sick isn't as bad as not knowing why you're sick. When questions lead to confusion. And angst and anxiety. When it feels like there's a tiger chasing you into the darkness. And all you want is a little light. A little hope. This is when you need the best of the best. Doctors who don't just perform cutting edge procedures and treatments. Doctors who invent them. UW Health. Remarkable medicine. Remarkable care. Who has my charger? My Hy-Vee grocery cart's about to die. Will you take our picture with my Hy-Vee grocery cart? Absolutely. Hey, is that the latest Hy-Vee grocery cart? Yeah. Please put your Hy-Vee grocery carts in airplane mode for takeoff. Sir, you left your Hy-Vee grocery cart on the table. Oh, thank you. Download the all-new Hy-Vee shopping app. It's the fresh way to shop fresh. Please be courteous and silence your Hy-Vee grocery cards. Hey, we're restarting. Yeah, yeah. I'm almost done with my grocery shopping. 
For Dimitri Trice, the start of this season was a mental struggle. When you play the point guard position, there's a lot of things swirling in your mind. And what am I not doing well? What am I not doing uh, right? Whether that's getting up more shots, getting sleep at night, eating the right things. So what he ended up doing is serving himself a big piece of humble pie and getting help from those who know him best. A bump and an offensive foul. Trice took the charge. I had to sit down with my dad and my older brother and just pick their brain about what they see and what they think that I can work on. And um, my older brother gave me some really, really good tips on what that I can do off the court that'll help me um, on the court. And I think those are some of the biggest things that I've taken away from um, just the beginning of the season to now. And what a change. Trice has looked great at both ends of the floor. Money, Dimitri Trice. The biggest thing is on the defensive end, I feel like he's done a really good job, uh, especially being a, at that point guard position. You usually have to guard one of their main guys on the other end, and he's done a great job to do that. We have a lot of good, point, great point guards in this league, and he matches up with them each and every night, and he gets the, you know, the task of locking them up on the defensive end. Um, so I think, you know, I think that's kind of where I've seen the biggest growth. And then from that, he's got a lot more comfortable, a lot more confident in the offensive end, where he ends up making a lot of plays and creating a lot, for a lot of opportunities. Um, and when he's doing that, we turn into a really, really good team. The defense does turn into offense, and I think me ramping up my defense and being more engaged in that helps me on the offensive end. So now I'm getting a few more steals, whether that's easier buckets, get to the uh, foul line, things like that, which just ultimately helps me and my confidence on the offensive end. A confident mindset has also shined through to coaches. Being aggressive, more aggressive. I think uh, early in the season, he was a little more careful, uh, almost too careful. Uh, especially things in transition, uh, different opportunities to drive those things. And I think now he's seeing those opportunities and he's taking advantage of those opportunities and uh, taking a little more risk. The teardrop is good. High risk, high reward type plays and things like that. So the coaches really trust me right now and I, I feel like that uh, helps my confidence and um, just going out there and just playing freely. And as he shoots better, plays faster and looks stronger, Trice credits all of those changes to what's going on in his head. Trice, long jumper away, good. Changing my mindset, um, coming to practice with a different mindset, um, doing the little things off the court that are helping me perform at my all-time high and all-time best. A great mindset to have with postseason play on everyone's mind. For the Badger Sports Report, I'm Eric Ryla. Hi, this is Coach Greg Gard, inviting you to join the Badger Basketball Booster Club. As a member of the Booster Club, you will have the opportunity to participate in a variety of great events, including pregame chalk talks, golf outings, and an away game bus trip. The Boosters play a vital role in assisting our staff and student athletes through fundraising and sponsorship. For additional information on joining the club, please call 608-265-6161. There is no better way to show your support than to join the Badger Basketball Boosters. The Learfield IMG College Directors' Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through the directorscup.com, USA Today, or L Directors' Cup on Twitter. Learfield IMG College Directors' Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. Time for our question of the week, and it's social media related. Randy up in Rhinelander wants to know, Coach, what is your social media policy with your guys? Well, Randy, thanks for your question. Um, I, I don't have a policy per se. I haven't taken our guys off social media. Some coaches do, but uh, you know, I have tried to monitor, or we try to monitor it. Maybe it's not myself specifically, but I we warn them of the uh, hazards of it, and I think they're we're seeing more and more of the danger, slippery slope. Other coaches have pointed out Tom Izzo, for example, uh, but I think other coaches have the same feeling in terms of you know just the uh, the easy target that our players can be, and and it's unfortunate that you know there's a lot of people out there that um, you know would take shots at, at young people that way but uh, we try to navigate it. there are some positives of it but uh, we try to stay clear of it and really uh, listen to the people that you would take it you know don't take advice from anybody you would take criticism from or vice versa don't take criticism from anybody you would take advice from so um, I tell our guys just trust the people that you really know and 
and all that other stuff on the outside really doesn't matter. All right, Randy, appreciate your question. Badgers, the home date, noon tip Sunday against the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. And then we'll be back on the road Thursday night, 6 o'clock tip at the Chrysler Center in Ann Arbor as the Badgers take on Michigan. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. Absolutely. Hey, is that the latest Hy-Vee grocery cart? Yeah. Please put your Hy-Vee grocery carts in airplane mode for takeoff. Sir, you left your Hy-Vee grocery cart on the table. Oh, thank you. Download the all-new Hy-Vee shopping app. It's the fresh way to shop fresh. Please be courteous and silence your Hy-Vee grocery carts. Hey, we're restarting. Yeah, yeah. I'm almost done with my grocery shopping. When their cry is a different kind of cry. When you know they're sick but are afraid to know how sick they really are. That's when you want answers. When you need answers. Because when it's your child, your baby, it's different. This is where you'll find doctors unlike any other doctors, where we treat the untreatable and conquer the seemingly unconquerable. UW Health, remarkable medicine, remarkable care. Progress is an endless challenge. Here at the University of Wisconsin, we're a community of innovators in constant motion. We think on our feet, connect with each other, and hit our stride, pushing past limits. Progress is an endless challenge, but it is only those up to the challenge who change the game.